Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Synchronize your task and deadlines efficiently by connecting Xana to Outlook in 2023. This guide will show you how to link these tools ensuring that your Xana tasks are reflected in your Outlook calendar, allowing for better time management and productivity. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the most obvious thing that you might think of doing when you try to connect an app with another is to look into these both apps and search if there is a way. So here, if I went to the settings and I clicked on the settings itself and clicked on apps, this is all in Xana uh, platform. If you don't know that, here you know. And you clicked here to see the connection or app connections and how you can do the API thing. And how can we actually connect two apps together? Well, that doesn't really help us a lot. Why? Because the the application that actually exists on Xana is very limited. And even if you try to search for any app, it is very impossible for you to connect to any app. You will tell me, hey, you do have two apps in here connected. Well, those two apps that are in here, you can't really just connect them from uh, Xana itself. I connected them through their apps themselves. For example, for Slack, I went to the Slack app and connected it with a Xana app. The same thing goes for Zapier. So do you think now, hmm, let's go to Outlook and do the same thing. Let's try to log in using Outlook. Well, even if you want to the Outlook and you want to the apps, explore more apps, the only thing that you will find is the apps that you are getting in Outlook by Microsoft themselves. You're not getting something that Microsoft doesn't have. So, as for example, you only get to like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Outlook, Teams, and Clipchamp. These are the things that you will get. You will not get anything like Xana or anything like, G like Google Apps, nothing like that. So, what should we do in this case? It's very simple, guys. You only need to go to Zapier. Zapier is a life changer, guys. So here, if I click on the first link, which is zapier.com, uh, let me just show you real quick how to connect to this page. You, it is very simple to use this app that many people don't know about. It can be a really game changer for you. Well, the first thing is obviously head up to the zapier.com website. So here it is in front of you. And then click on start free with Google. Here we go. Choose an email and then it will be logged in into your account. Now, trust me guys, just close these tabs because you will not need them at all. Here, what I'm going to do is click on apps and then in this apps category, we must look for the apps that we will need. As an example, we need Xana. We search for Xana and then we click on connect and we'll link it with our account. Now, in this point, we will need to actually have our account logged in. So, as you can see here, click on this connection to make sure that everything is working fantastically good. And then, go ahead and search for apps again. Or, you can just go back and then search for the other app, which is in our case, Outlook. So, here we have Microsoft Outlook. Click into here and connect to this app. And here's how you cannot connect your account. Try again until it is locked in. Well, the problem that you might have is that Zapier is doing it with Microsoft's Outlook. They're not doing it with the Outlook itself. So this might be a problem for you. Now, right after you do add these two apps and you make sure that your connection is working fantastically without any problems, simply now what you will need to do is go ahead and click on create a zap right through here. By clicking on it, you will get the ability to choose whatever you want just by typing what you want to happen. As an example, you can even use multiple uh, apps at the same time. So for example here, save a new lead from Facebook, lead as to Google Sheets, and email me the lead in Gmail. So what you're going to do, save the new leads from Facebook and send them to the Google Sheets. After that, it will be sent to your Gmail. Now, what we want is, as an example, uh, when a task 
is created in Xana, send me a mail in Outlook. And then click on Generate. And wait for it until it generates the email that you want or the prompt that you want. Here it goes. Notify me via email when task is created in Azana. Let's try it out by clicking on try it and then we have to connect to both accounts. Click on Azana. Choose your account. Here we go. And then we have to wait and click on continue. After that, choose your workspace. As an example for me, I will go for my workspace and then projects A which are th these things over here, as you can see. These, these are like the workspace and this is project A. Now, choose continue. And then we start the collected task in your account. We'll find the most recent one to confirm your trigger is set up correctly. So let's test trigger. And as you can see, we found records in your Xana account. We will load up to three most recent records that have not appeared previously. So here we go. Here we have task B, task C, and task A. All of them are the things that they I have created in my Xana account. Now click on continue, and they will send you to your Outlook account. Click on sign in, and normally now they will take you to the Microsoft account, but unfortunately, yeah, this is the problem that you I am facing, you will be facing that Microsoft Outlook is not supported anymore by Zapier. So you need to fix it with the support and contact them to make them fix this problem. Now, let's say that by this video is uploaded, you will have this fixed. What you'll have to do is next is do the same steps that you have done with Xana. Just click on continue, choose the triggers that you want, the actions and the accounts, and then click in here go and make it on and click on publish to make it work now guys after that what you'll have to do is or before that make sure that the total amount of zaps that you have in your account is uh, so free you still have free spaces for new zaps to be created on your account as an example here I still have three more zaps before I get to the limit so these are the main things that you have to put in mind before actually creating a new zap because unfortunately if you don't have enough space you will not be able to run your zaps anymore and after that, click on publish and your action shall be starting to do their work. So each time you create a new task on Azana, the message will be sent to your email on Microsoft Outlook. It is as simple as that. So yeah, guys, with that, we have come to an end with this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you got some information that you never knew about as this tool, which is Zapier. And if you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I will go through them one by one and answer them all. Thank you guys a lot for watching. And let's meet in the next tutorial.